we were talking at Key Surge recently about the specific topic of onboarding. Um, mm. as, as you know, we do executive search. We spend a lot of time trying to identify and validate uh, exceptional leadership candidates for our clients. And we get to a point where that candidate is perfect is a perfect fit for the role. They sign the, the employment contract and then they join the company. And while we want to do everything we can to stay close to that candidate, I feel that once they join the company, we have a lot less influence on what's going to happen to them, right? We don't control the onboarding process. We're not there on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't have one-to-ones with the candidates once they start. It's really up to the team, the leadership team in particular, to, to run that onboarding. And unfortunately, over the past year, we've had a couple of cases where things just haven't worked out in the first six months. And, you know, you can imagine the, the, the time and, and the investment just to bring that person through the door and to not have it work out is just, it's just horrible. Right? Mm. So that was kind of one of the, the, the first things that came to mind when, when we co first connected. And I thought, oh, it would be great to talk about onboarding and specifically the CEO's role in onboarding their leadership team. Okay. Let's talk about that. Often what I see with, with onboarding in businesses is it, at the lower levels in the business, it's normally great, right? Human resources, uh, chief of staff, whoever, they've already, they've got everything set up. And there's a program, there's a process, there's an approach for lower levels within the organization. When you sort of start to get higher, certainly in the C-suite, there's an element of that already there, you know, like health and safety and all of the things that you kind of have to do. There's no real onboarding at that level for senior staff like that, C-suite staff. There really isn't, you know, people are, you know, CEOs are saying things to me like, well, you know, they're grown ups. They've done this many times. I don't need to spend time onboarding them. I want them to be great straight away. And what bell rings in the back of my head when I hear that is that's an expectation. And a big core element of my coaching is, is swapping expectations for agreements. Because anytime there's an expectation out there at all, it's a kind of dangerous place. 